What up? It's your boy King Dial Two Two Five coming at you with another reactionary video. And today, this one is for my community and why we always be out here yelling about racism, the institutional, structural racism, the shit that's embedded within our system. Within our system, we argue, but we always get gaslighted and we like, oh, y'all overreacting. It's not that serious. Slavery was hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Get over it. Stop it. Stop. Just stop it. Do highlights. Point made or is he wrong? Do highlights the racial bias in the criminal justice system using two similar cases with the same prosecutor. This kind of shit as an African-American, pisses you off. But instead of my people getting discouraged with the, the, the system that's in place, we need to get active as MTR or media, mediocre tutorial reviews, I would say, get active. You need to get more active within the political process. That means voting. That means running for office. Let me encourage your children that one day you can be a judge or a prosecutor or a senator or a, a, a house representative. All those things to help change and move the system in the right direction. Well, let's get into the video of example of what we be screaming about as a community. Hey, meet Carla and Debbie. They were sentenced by the same Ohio court, one day apart for similar crimes. And although they had different judges, they had the same prosecutor. Carla pled guilty to one count. Debbie pled no contest to 22 counts. 22. Carla stole $40,000 and went to voluntary treatment for a gambling problem. Debbie stole $238,000 over the course of 20 years. Carla was facing a maximum of three years in prison. Debbie was facing a maximum of 60 years in prison. And remember they had the same prosecutor? He recommended 12 months for both of them. Carla got 18 months in prison, six months more than the prosecutor asked for. Debbie, two years probation, no prison time. Aren't you interested in examining the system in place that allows this type of disparity to happen? Well, that's critical race theory. Not calling any one individual racist, but examining the system in place that allows this type of thing to happen. And if you're against that, then you're cool with this, and you don't want to see things change. This is what we'll be screaming about. This is what we be screaming about. This not only affects the black community. So the Mexican, all, all underrepresented, or underrepresented communities or people, whether you straight or gay, anybody that's disenfranchised, this applies to you as well. Not just black people. How in the hell? How in the hell did this happen? Why? Judges which are human people too, which are humans, jurors, which are humans. One person, gambling problem, did uh, uh, something fucked up. Both of them did crime. Both of them deserve punishment. But we always asking for equality, not you to overpunish me when I did. I ain't going to say she did less of crime. Both of them did something messed up, but she did it once. This woman did it for 20 years. Stole 238000 The other lady stole 40K one time. And she was a gambling addict. This lady stole 238K over 20 years, had 22 counts. One was served, one was up for a max of three years, one was up for a max of 60 years. Prosecutor recommended 12 months. The judge went out of his way to get a black lady six more months over the prosecutor, pros, pros, pro, prosecutioner's recommendation and voided the prosecutor's recommendation on the other case, too. Oh, I'm just going to get her two years probation. Are you serious? This is an example of what we mean by structural institutional racism y'all can't always you can't look a blind eye forever for shit like this because one day this kind of shit will affect you this is your boy king dad to five with another reactionary video so please hit that like subscribe become part of the kingdom share the video